Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review here in White's Tavern. Today, we are doing a beer from Switzerland. Um, nothing on the bottle is in English. Um, I don't know what is the brewery, what is the type of beer, and what is the uh, beer type, but I can guess that Icho up here is the brewery, since it's at the top. Closter Brow is the type of beer, and that um, Edel Trub is the type of beer we're drinking. Uh, sorry, the uh, name of the beer itself. There is a whole bunch of monks on there drinking beer, which can make me think that it's a lambic of some type, or a wheat beer of some type, or just any other Abbey beer, and I'm going to go with that since it's a bunch of monks on the front. It's 4.8% alcohol. It has some red seal on here that I don't know what it means whatsoever. Apparently it's the beer that everybody was drinking in the part of Switzerland my friend was in that brought me this back. Mike is here with me to drink it. Um, ingredients wise, yeah. it is made with Worcester, which I'm guessing is water. Um, German Nalls or something like that, which I have no clue what it is. Maize, which is a wheat in French, so I'm going to go with corn or some other wheat in in Swiss. Um, hop 10, which I'm thinking is hops, and hyph, which is pretty close to wheat, so I'm going to go with wheat. Uh, I don't know how good this bottle is going to be. At least it's brown glass, but it traveled from Switzerland to Missis to Toronto, then from Toronto to Mississauga, then from Mississauga to my fridge here in Niagara Falls. So. Let's find out how she is. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of that. It left pretty quickly, however. We both have our vintage glasses. I have the O'Keefe mug, well, the O'Keefe glass. Mike here has the Molson Export. Export. I figured, you know, he'd like that. I don't even know how big this bottle is. I'm going to go with a your average pint, because it looks about a pint bottle, but it doesn't even have the uh, amount on this bottle anywhere. It says it was made in 2010, you be 2010, whatever that is. Anyway, on to pouring the beer. Ooh, I almost missed the cup. That could have been bad. So. Uh, it doesn't look like a wheat beer, which is what I was guessing it was by the ingredients, but has a good deal of head. Even Mike got some nice head there. I got the two fingers like you're supposed to. Uh, My fingers are shorter. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what color I'd give that. Uh, it looks different when I hold it up to this light as when I bring it out to the room. I'd say like a brassy color, almost like a trumpet but slightly darker, like a rusting trumpet. Yeah. Um, now, it's not the best smelling beer I've ever had, but again, I don't know if that's because of the travel this beer did. I don't know how long it sat in the uh, liquor store in Switzerland before it was bought and brought to me. Very malty, very hoppy, very grainy. The head really isn't fading all that fast. It kind of has a bit of a skunky hint to it, but again, I'm going to go with that's just the beer aging. I don't know how long it's been sitting there. I know it's had a lot of a lot of temperature changes getting here. But it smells like a Heineken at this point. What do you think of the nose? I see again you've been sipping... The smell is... I like the smell. The taste itself is pretty good. Yeah? I guess I gotta catch up with people. For something that, that I would drink uh, maybe more than once or twice, this would be one of them. I like the taste. The aftertaste is not much of an aftertaste at all. Um, I don't know, I would kind of consider it as almost as 
as smooth as almost like a Canadian beer. Well, if I didn't say it, I'm not sure if I did or not because we've been drinking tonight. It's 4.8% alcohol. Um, so almost the percentage of a regular Canadian beer. It's uh, not really as grainy as most wheats or anything like that. It doesn't have an orange peel or coriander taste to it. So even though the ingredients have a lot of wheat to it, I'm not thinking they're following a wheat idea. It is it is pretty good. It's pretty smooth. It goes through your entire palate pretty much the same as when it touched your tongue. You're not getting any real big changes. Not much of an aftertaste. No, no aftertaste that I can find. Very mellow. Yeah. Somewhat sweet when it first hits your tongue. Mm -hmm. And it's still somewhat sweet when it goes down your throat. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of bitterness. I mean, the hops do come out. They complement complement the sweetness fairly well. It does have a slightly grainy feel. I mean, it is soft, but at the same time, it's crisp and it's it's there. I mean, it sort of feels like it gets stuck in your teeth, even though it doesn't. Anyway, I don't mind this beer. It's it's not something special, but it's pretty good. Uh, I'd probably give it a 6.5 out of 10. I, I hear that, it, again, that it was a big thing in that part of Switzerland that the person my friend went to visit bought a whole bunch of this for his little party, and people loved it. To me, it's fairly average. Um... Not that, it, that anything is wrong with it, that's why I gave it a 6.5 instead of a 5, but to me it's it's a fairly average beer, there's nothing special about it, but I would drink it again, and if I was in Switzerland, now that I've had it, I'd probably buy one of these. From my point of view, I would give it, I would give it an 8. An 8? From my point of view, I would give it an 8, very mellow, um, it goes down good, not much of an aftertaste. I find it goes down very smooth. It's odd. Like I said, it's almost like a Canadian beer. And um, I really enjoy it. And uh, if I ever had the chance, uh, if I was ever in Sweden, uh, or Switzerland, excuse me, uh, that would be something that uh, I would drink. Slightly different cross on that flag. Sorry about that. Uh, Not a blue and yellow one, a red and white one. I've had a, a few, so uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, but uh, yes, it would be a, a, a beer I prefer. I'd give it an 8. Alrighty, a 6.5, I think that's what I gave it for me, <laughs> an 8 from Mike. Thank you for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review. By the way, if anybody knows uh, anything about this bottle of beer, or the ingredients, please, uh, you know, give them a... Uh, I tried to use babble fish, but it was too complicated for me, so I turned my computer off. Good beer drinking to you. Good day, y'all. And good night.